How could something as big as a Boeing 777 seemingly vanish into thin air? For the past five days, an international search to locate the missing Malaysia Airlines plane with 239 on board has yielded no clues for loved ones desperate for information. With few facts, lots of theories are popping up, as ABC's senior national correspondent Jim Avila reports. How could a plane larger than this 767 crash into the sea and leave no trace? Even as these grainy satellite images released today by the Chinese government show what could be debris, there is still no proof, an open sea mystery that has seasoned aviators puzzled. David Susi has been investigating plane accidents for 25 years. There's something very unique going on here that I haven't experienced in my investigations before. On Reddit, a social media news site, everything from alien abduction to a Chinese military power play is trending. But some of the less wild conspiracies actually warrant examination. Some of the theories that are being put forward, you have to react and say, yeah, that needs looking into. Hijacking, for example. Could flight MH370 have been taken over, radios and transponders silenced as it was flown to a nearby island? Eerily, families of those aboard continue to call their loved ones' cell phones, which, because the call is international, rings hauntingly before going to voicemail. Some on the internet say what's going on here is almost like the TV show Lost. I think that there's something that happened to this aircraft. Whether or not they could have landed that aircraft in that region, I find that highly unlikely. And another prominent conspiracy theory involves the military. Was the Malaysian 777 blown to small pieces by a rogue missile, making the debris field too small to find? I don't see any evidence of that whatsoever. The, the whole profile would have been much different than what we see today. We would have seen debris across the ocean. It would have spread as much as a mile across the ocean. Others wonder about secret military experiments gone awry, developing Star Trek-like abilities, cloaking. It is true that military contractors are working on the possibility. Sounds like a little space age to me. I'm not sure if I ever would buy into that. But it doesn't surprise you that we hear all these things. Oh, it would surprise me if you didn't. Yeah, th this is what happens. And the longer it goes on, the crazier it's going to get. Another reason to find that plane, or what is left of it. For Nightline, I'm Jim Avila in Washington.